Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. Today we are going to be talking about protecting the paint on Charlotte, my third gen Tacoma. Today we're going to be installing a Laminex protection for your gas tank door. This is a great protection because every single time that you're going to be touching this door, prying on the door, you're going to be rubbing it and damaging the paint just a little bit. And this protection film simply slides right over and covers the door exactly. My truck is super dirty right now, so we're gonna have to clean this off first before we do the installation. A few of the items that I'm gonna be using for this install it are some, uh, possibly some simple green just to start the cleaning. I've got some basic water in here, uh, towels, blue towels and microfiber cloth towels, rubbing alcohol to really clean the surface down. And I also have an assortment of uh, door trim tools that I'm going to use to like press the laminex and try to get some of the bubbles out. They also suggest using like a credit card with a paper towel or something over it and you can use that as well. The kit comes with a little sprayer. Um, I'm probably going to fill that up with just some generic water because that's all you really need. And so you can just pop that out. Also I would like to notice that they also sent me some additional ones so I'm going to do a giveaway and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So let's jump into starting to clean this thing off. A good idea here is to actually clean above the area because we're going to be spraying water on this and um, if you just have any dirt or contaminants streaking down you're just going to make things dirty. Um, so just make sure you give this area a thorough cleaning. Next step here I'm just going to put some uh, rubbing alcohol all over this area just to clean it up. Take any uh, grime or dirt or anything off of this. I am somewhat curious to see how close this is to the actual size, so I was going to give it a measure. Um, I do notice on this Tacoma, they do make these specific for vehicles. This Tacoma one has this bump out, which is probably going to accommodate this lip right here. So we'll see how that all works. I'll measure from the front to that point, it's like almost seven and three quarters, maybe a little shy, and yep, right about seven and three quarters. Top to bottom, about six and six and a half, about six and a half. So it's going to be a very precise fit. Uh, one of the benefits of Laminex is these things are super durable, really strong, and you can take it on and off a few times to get the precise fit. I'm going to do what they call a wet application. So I'm going to wet this whole entire area. And that's going to allow me to slide it around and slip it around a lot easier and so I can get it into the exact position that I need. Um, I also went and filled this up with water and I washed my hands because if your hands are dirty you will leave fingerprints and leave marks on this clear film and I don't want to do that. All right so let's uh let's see how easy this is to install. good solid soaking you want it to kind of run down that's actually a really good thing I'm just gonna peel this off I'm gonna try to I'm actually gonna kink it just a little bit and set it what I think is in the middle I need more water water this guy down too. It's a nice warm day, which is what you want. Actually, to some extent, um, you don't want to install this when it's super cold. You want to make it, um, you want to put it on when it's a little bit warm outside. Putting water on there, that helps out a lot. It's actually a really good spray bottle. 
At this point in the install, the best thing that you can do is just be patient. Slowly work the film into place, making sure that it's aligned all around the edges and that you are working the bubbles out from underneath. You might need to pull a corner up to get it to fit a little bit better or remove some of the bubbles. You can always use some sort of squeegee or the credit card with a paper towel to press things out, but I found that using my thumb worked really well to push the bubbles to an edge. Be careful not to scratch, gouge, or crease the film in any way because that will then show up for the rest of its time. And really the best thing that you could do is just be patient and take your time and make sure that it's set in a, the optimal position as you're working the bubbles out from underneath. Everything's looking really good on here. It lines up nearly perfect. Um, actually, if anything, it's just ever so slightly a hair short, but I think I might be a little long on the opposite side. You know, I think it lines up really well. A few things to take uh, into account. It might be hard for you guys to see, but there are some small little bubbles in here, probably some water still stuck underneath, but those will evaporate through over time. Um, give it a few days and all the little bubbles and water and everything should just evaporate out. I am still having some problems underneath here. Um, it seems to stretch and go tight down along the bottom. I'm holding a good line down here. I'm concerned I might have to lift this up and push it up to kind of give it a smooth flow. I actually sent a message into Laminex to get some suggestions um, about what to do. It was much worse, but the, the heat and the sun has kind of shrunk it down and tightened it up. So I'm uh, just sort of continuously pressing on here just trying to get it to stick and hold itself down. Um, I'll let you guys know what Laminex has to say uh, about that and if they have any suggestions on how to tighten that up. I'm also thinking about getting a heat gun and uh, trying to shrink it down that way. So uh, I'll keep you guys informed in just a moment. Here we are a few days later and as you can see all the cloudiness and all the bubbles have gone away through the sun and the heat. Um, I should mention that Laminex got back to me the next day and suggested that we start from this curve and work our way the opposite direction than what I went. And that's a great suggestion because then you can use the extra material and squeeze it down on these edges and work your way out and around. Now, if you are interested in the giveaway for two more of these panels that I have, I'll get two winners out of this. Um, all that information is over over on my Instagram snail trail 4x4 go over there follow the rules and requirements for that and you will be entered to win and with that I want to say a big thanks to Laminex thanks for your support and donating this product um, and doing the giveaway for the other people and like always my friends keep crawling <laughs>